Talking this, baby. From diesel or gas pacers to rocket powered racers. Nomads, go mats, RV schoolies. Turn it, tweak it, tune it, fix it so smoothly. That's why he's badge. Everybody needs one. Okay, welcome back. We're talking the slam latches today now. I'm gonna show you how to take it apart, clean it. Now you have to look on your key. It's a double-sided key and it'll be a south coat. Now it could be like an 01 or a 10 or something like that. You gotta see what the number is anyway. But the problem with these is if you have one of these with an R001, I have a key for it. So that's the thing. And you can't change the lock on this one. So just be careful what you put in there and if you want to lock it and make sure it's secure, just be careful because some idiot like me can have your key. So these ones here are very simple. They just, you put the key in and you turn it and it locks or it opens up, right? And then it locks, that's it. And the way these are designed is this, remember the door mechanism was the same way. This is spring loaded, right? And the latch is it. Like the latch is locked, right? But nothing's connected, see? Nothing's, this is all separate. Now, if you want, on the inside, you'll see there, there's a plastic cover on the inside and there's a hole in there and you see that threaded hole right there? Well, you could go and put a cable on that and put it up by your bed or something. And if you want to release it from the inside, you can do that without having the key. So if you want, you can just take this lock if you want and glue it shut. And then you open it from the inside and then nobody can break into it, right? There's no way to get in it. There's no way to get in this thing if you don't open the outside. It's just impossible. This one here, all you do is take out one screw and the bell crank right here. And drop the screw on the ground take this bell crank off there and then it all comes to pieces now watch there's a spring in there right the thing with this here is this spring now see all this black stuff that's what i told you about before right that's what we want to get rid of and the lock itself now these are designed to be slam locks what happens is if you slam them and this binds up in here it'll crack this piece all you do is take some brake clean of course and clean it all up clean this the spring up clean this here piece up now the good part about this over the door these ones here if unless you're like me and you want something to do and you're looking for something to do you can just oil these ones and they work just fine you don't usually have to take these apart if they start sticking just open the thing open the lever up when you put it in or open, uh, close it i mean then you just take that in there and put some, take a screwdriver and stick that in there. And that's all there is to it really, because there isn't that many moving parts in this thing. The only, well, there is quite a few, the handle, the bell crank. So then you get a clean like this. Now, the spring just goes in on that latch, that platform you can see right there. It just goes in, it can't jump out because it's in a track. So all we do is we take it all together and we take some uh, grease here, silicone grease or whatever, and you grease, grease the cat up. Hey, you just grease it up, put a little bit of grease on the cat here, and she'll be just fine. Grease every place where it moves, right? Put the spring back in. Put it back in the body. Now, this one you have to hold it, right? You hold the body, push the plunger back in and hold it, put the bell crank on, like so, put the screw in it, like so, and then just tighten it down. Now, just make it a little snug. It's not gonna come out of there because it's not holding anything together, right? Okay, so you push it down and it goes like that. Now this is the only way to open it is with the outside, unless you put the cable on it, right? Now, 
if you see these rods here, okay, these holes, you'll see some baggage doors that'll have rods going across to the side, or they might have two or three locks hooked together. Well, that's what those are for, to hook all the locks together. This one will go over there, this one will go over to here. And you'll pull it and it'll bell crank and that's what that's for, right? A little bit of oil on the on the lever and that's about Okay, now this is where the latch came out of here. Now, to put it back in, you have to put it back in here and then you have to get these um, little pins past there. It's, it's not easy, but it can be done. And then you put it up there and then you had the force bolts, right? Now these just bottom out and tighten up so it's not a big, big thing, right? And then you just put them back in there like so. And like we always say, Bob's your uncle. Okay, so there you got all on and then if you got it greased right, it'll just, that's what they're called, slam locks, right? That's all there is to it. This little magnet, two magnets, right? They stick together, that's the magnets. That's why they call it slam locks, so you can slam them. That's all I can tell you on this one. I hope you got something out of it. If you don't, put it down below and I'll answer your questions. And don't forget to buy your Hero Soap because you're going to need it for your hands. Uh, just on that note, Hero Soap, like I said in the video, is one of the first soaps that I used besides uh, Dawn that took grease off. Just so you know. Anyway, oh yeah, my pink screwdriver. Somebody was bugging me about my pink screwdrivers. These are very sacred screwdrivers because Snap-on makes them and they're sold in October every year for women's breast cancer. So that's why they're pink. Everybody needs one. We love our badge. And just remember, he's not asking.